What is going on, everybody? I am back today because this weekend, the film Long Legs releases, directed by Oz Perkins, who I am a huge fan of. I love his film, The Black Coat's Daughter. I think he's an incredibly talented director, and I've heard incredible things about this movie. And depending on when this review drops, I may or may not have seen it by now. I'm not 100% sure yet when my screening is going to be. But regardless, that movie got me thinking about movies about serial killers and throughout the years there have been a ton of films released about serial killers that try to get into the mind of the human psyche of a person who is willing to take other people's lives and i think there's something really fascinating about what would drive a human being to commit these horrendous acts and what like trauma they've experienced or how their brain had developed or any of those things. I just find it fascinating. I listen to a lot of true crime podcasts. I'm a huge fan of like murder mystery books. And so obviously films about serial killers are interesting to me. And so today I thought I would talk about some movies involving serial killers that are ones that I've watched over the years or revisited over the years that I think are 100% worth your time checking out. So let's get into that right now. So let's start with one of the best of the best, and that's David Fincher's Zodiac. I've been hearing a lot of comparisons with Long Legs, the Zodiac, and I just love everything about this movie. I think that the way tension is built is absolutely incredible. I think all of the drama surrounding the police force trying to hunt the Zodiac Killer is fascinating. The performances here are all exceptional. I love the use of music and sound in the movie. And what's great is, obviously this is based off of a real event. We don't really know who the Zodiac Killer is, but there's this mystery that David Fincher is able to create throughout the movie to try to give you hints as to who he might think in the context of the film is the killer. And I love movies that can kind of toy with your head that way. And seeing this movie less from the perspective of the killer and more from the perspective of the people trying to solve the mystery is just really fascinating to me. I love this movie. Every time I revisit it, it just gets better. And if you're going to watch a film about a serial killer, this is one of the best. Up next is The House That Jack Built, directed by Lars von Trier. This is one of the most interesting movies when it comes to the psyche of a serial killer and kind of diving into their mind, even showcasing like the OCD that this character has and like worrying whether or not he's cleaned up the blood but putting himself in more danger of getting caught like there's so many incredible sequences in this movie that i think really dive deep into the psyche of this character i think all of the performances in this are exceptional it's incredibly disturbing there are some moments in this that really took me by surprise the first time i watched it and it's von trier it gets a little self-indulgent he even incorporates scenes from his other movies which is like whatever i mean he's at this point if you're surprised by that and Von Trier's work. I don't know what to tell you, but I think everything outside of that is so incredibly well done. I love a lot of the dialogue in this movie. I love the twist that it takes in the third act. Just really a surprising film that I grow to appreciate more over the years. Up next is I Saw the Devil. This is a Korean film that is masterfully made with two incredible performances and very simply without giving too much away, it is a man trying to hunt down a serial killer. And it plays out in a way you would never expect. Uh, it goes in a direction that the entire time I'm watching this movie and anytime I revisit this movie, I'm just like, how? Like, who would come up with this concept? It's dark. It's sadistic. It has some comedy in it in moments that's very disturbing. Uh, it makes you feel every emotion imaginable throughout an entire two-hour runtime. The ending had my jaw on the floor like I never would have expected it to go the direction it went in. The performances here are just top tier, some of the best of the best. It is also, in my opinion, one of the greatest films ever made about serial killers. And if you've never seen this movie before, you are really missing out. Up next is the film Creep, directed by Patrick Bryce. And I would actually recommend you watch Creep 1 and Creep 2, one of the most fascinating films about a serial killer. If you've never seen this movie before, the less you know about it going in, the better. I don't even really want to give you a plot description. Just know it has only a few characters 
in the movie portrayed by Patrick Bryce and Mark Duplass. They both give amazing performances. This movie has a lot of dark comedy in it. It's suspenseful. The twists and turns that it takes will really surprise you. And the second film just adds on to the lore of the first movie, adds new characters that make it even more interesting. I love both films. And they're just a really fascinating look at serial killers in a very unconventional way. And it's shot in the found footage format. And there is a new mini series that's going to be released surrounding Creep soon. And I'm really looking forward to it. Up next is another twofer. And that is the Maniac films, the original and the remake. I love these movies a lot. They are incredibly disturbing and both very unique in their own way. The original Maniac, a lot of it is showcasing the sheer brutality of this character, really kind of showcases us the horror through their perspective. Um, the, the remake is shot entirely through POV, but we do a lot more flashback sequences with the lead character, kind of showcasing where he came from and what kind of traumas he's experienced that might have heightened his want and need to murder people. This movie, both of these movies are very violent. They're very uncomfortable, but they're also incredibly fascinating. And I love both of them to varying degrees. I think they both exist in their own world that gives validity to watching both of them. I think if you've never seen these movies before, they're 100% worth checking out. Up next is Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer. This stars Michael Rooker in one of his best performances in his career. This film is very different in that a lot of it is the slice of life of this character who's committing these violent acts. A lot of what we see in the movie is the events after he's committed these heinous acts and forcing us to stare at the brutality and the aftermath of these heinous crimes that he has committed and the storyline really took me by surprise when I watched it the first time I wasn't really expecting it to go the direction that it went in and it definitely uh, had my jaw on the floor by the end of it it's a really unique watch it's a really incredible watch Criterion has put it on their channel multiple times it's definitely a movie about a serial killer if you've never seen before you 100% should up next is The Greasy Strangler. This is probably the most unconventional movie on this list, but it is hilarious. It is absurd. It's over the top. If you're a fan of like Tim and Eric's awesome show, Great Job, or the Eric Andre show, just absurdist, insane, ridiculous humor, this movie is 100% going to be for you. It is about a man who literally gets butt naked, covers himself in grease, and strangles people to death. And it's about the relationship that he has with his son it is a really uncomfortable movie it's incredibly strange the dialogue is really deadpan and awkward but it is just such a riot and like i said this is going to be for a very specific audience but if you love like really weird dark abstract humor you should 100 watch this movie and then i don't want to keep you for too long but another movie that i absolutely adore is the film Cure from director Kiyoshi Kurosawa. This movie is in the Criterion Collection and this is one of those movies that just kind of changed my perspective of what filmmaking can be. The sound design in this movie is some of the best I've ever heard in any film and it's very different than your typical serial killer movie. The plot structure is very different. The killer himself is not necessarily the one committing the murders, which makes it even more fascinating. And if there's one word I could use to describe this film, it's dreamy. It feels very otherworldly and unnatural. And the entire time you're watching it, it's, it's very uncomfortable, but also comforting at the same time in moments. It's very weird to describe. It's just one of those things you really have to experience for yourself. It is a masterfully made film and one of the best movies that I've ever seen. So what are some films about serial killers that you enjoy? Let me know in the comments. This is obviously just a small list. There are a ton more I could have mentioned today, but I just wanted to mention a brief few. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.